All right. Well, what have we succeeded in doing today? We've succeeded in losing a lot of stars. Let's check and make sure this is the uh, deck that I think it is. All right. Mm-hmm. Don't 100% know how I feel about running this, but you know what? It's something different. So let's do this here. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. We've been losing. We've been losing a lot with a lot of decks, to a lot of matchups. And if I had elected to uh, not preserve my Shield Maiden's life. I could have possibly won that game instead of taking the three damage. But, I mean, the top deck kill command at the end there. Ugh. Remember when I was doing a stream previously and... Let's see. All right. Remember when I was streaming before and I was winning consistently, winning almost every time? Yeah, it's, uh, it's not exactly what's going on here. So, Shaman. Here's something I have not seen in a while. I'm actually going to keep True Silver here. This is Secret Pally. And Mysterious Challenger in the opening hand is good. You can coin out True Silver to contest a Totem Golem. If it comes to it, we shall see. Like I said, Dragon Priest is still good. Maybe I can scale back some of my modifications. But like I said before, you can't get too stressed out about losing streaks because streaks are going to happen sometimes. And that's exactly what keeps people on anxiety. The important thing is that, you know what, at least, even though I've been on the losing end, at least the games are entertaining. And I can look back and say, okay, I shouldn't have valued my Shield Maiden's life so much because I knew I'd kill the Zod in hand. Okay, I shouldn't have done that other things, but I may switch to a more uh, standard Varian list. Because I, I know a lot of people say Varian's not very good. Max Shaman. All right. This does not change our plans. But we are going to have to uh, definitely watch ourselves. I do think keeping the true silver was correct, although some people might say I want to curve out a little lower. But because I have coin, I think I could get away with it. Anything else? Well, or are we just on the slow connection train? Or is this person just literally like wanting to go rope every single time just for fun. If that's your strategy, it's not fantastic. All right. Squelch you now. So I might be sitting here for a little while, but let's see your secret paladin. Do have shield and mini bots? He did have to mulligan everything. So that's positive. As you've seen before, there's some mighty big swings that happen in some of these games. But obviously, I'm not the legendary player some other people are because I'm not. I'm still stuck at rank 12, rank 13, rank 14, and we're, what, halfway through the season where a lot of the people that are really good have already boosted themselves way up. Of course, other people would say that uh, stuff is very competitive because people are fighting for their little treasure chest of dust. But I think this guy is either AFK or seriously just roping because it's a paladin. And I'd love it if Squelching actually stopped that. I mean, it's nice that I have the little turn counter here to say who is taking how much time. All right. 
Let's see if we're going to make a play. Or is he actually just AFK? Alright, I don't want to get a win just because he's AFK, but... This is for in case he comes back. We're having obviously my own connection issues as well. This tends to happen sometimes. People just get disconnected and it's all very sad. Alright. This means we can Dr. Six on five. This would be a really good play under most circumstances. For justice. Face just to end it. Alright. Sorry for the uh, exciting game. Oh, he's back. Okay. That's one way to do it. None of your business, some people would say. Oh, paladin tree, oh, paladin tree. He does have a spare part here. It's exactly why we develop the board this way. There we go. Well, you know what? At least sometimes getting the secrets out is enough. Got a very nice curve later on there, too. Now, there's some people that don't run lay on hands with this. I find the heals pretty important. We'll see. My goal here for the rest of this is just get to, be to get back to rank 12. That is probably the worst opening hand possible, except for Mysterious Challenger, which I'm going to take a risk because I have coin and keep it. I could possibly play Avenge too, but we'll see what kind of warrior this is. So I don't have as much experience with some of these decks. I'd love to get a Muster or a Haunted Creeper for next turn. Okay, so it is Dragon Warrior. All the Dragon decks today. Oh, well, this can test you. Plus it draws out the, uh, the thingy. The, what do you call it? The fireworks? Oh no, or the bash. Second Mysterious Challenger. Don't really like seeing that here. Hero Power Repentance may be a little sneaky. Does tip my hand. Oh, that was a really good Repentance. And he didn't have the dragon in hand. That's unfortunate for him. We'll play you now. The battle. Who oh, battle? Then I can still coin out challenger. That's bite. Not fantastic. Not as good to muster here. Still going for face. Don't like those secrets in hand. Who am I? None of your business. 
only three secrets. Should be all the information you need. So we might have an execute for this one. That's the right person to attack, by the way. And this is why you want to have a board as a Super Paladin, so... Execute, don't even have to wait for the Execute here. Don't even have to wait. I can take the hit. Oh, Shield Maiden. Alright. There's hope. Okay, so what do I get here? Oh, True Silver is pretty decent. I guess it's probably better if I clear and uh, I don't want to play the second challenger, not with one of the secrets in hand. Because technically this is a mid-range version of the deck. Maybe I could use to put a Quartermaster in this deck. I, I took it out before because it was a little dead, but at least one Quartermaster is a pretty good one-off. Might be better than Lay on Hands. Okay, Shield Block into what? Death Bite. Alright, that's 10 free damage, so there goes his on that. All right. Now that's interesting. Now all these little dudes die to uh, a lot of stuff, and I do have two weapons right here. Let me think. It still dies if I kings it. But I think King's Coghammer is still the way to go. Stop asking questions. The battle. The battle. The battle. To battle. The battle. Is this the crazy patron turn if it's patron warrior? No, well, I mean, patron warrior is not going to play Alkstraza's champion, but could play Alkstraza right here and be pretty justified in doing it. Okay. All right. Well, that evens things up just a touch. I could boom here, but probably. This here power is better. For justice. Reporting for duty. Stop done. Of course, if the Alex Straz is here, I'll be a little sadder. But then we just boom here a power. All right. Well played. Okay, can we get another win? Okay, one of those wins doesn't really count, because it was someone who DC'd. Let's play it again. Even with Secrets in Hand, Secret Paladin can be quite good. Okay, so... I'm not 100% convinced about the Seeker Keeper in this deck, but we are going to... Okay, I, there's so many different kinds of mages. We're going to ditch the Owl, keep the Juggler. Okay. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. I guess we got to play this turn one. Hey, I'm a secret paladin, did you know?
would love now I suddenly want to draw a second secret here. Or if this is gonna draw out like premium removal, no, it's uh, drawing out an Alright. So not the most mana efficient here, and that's one reason I'm not 100% convinced about the Secret Keeper. Double annoy, Tron. Double annoying. Oh, that's that's such good stuff there. Even the board, if I can out tempo him and or force him to uh, kill this, that'd be amazing. Something needs tinkering. Okay. All right. The question becomes: Do I blessing of kings or do I shredder? I mean, I don't think juggle and hope for the best is the play. Kings forces him to deal with that. He could fireball. Still dies. Maybe I should have kings this, but now there's two bodies to choose from. So that's the Cardi Mulligan into, let's find out what it is, Shredder. For the face! So he's really scared of Avenge right now. Well, let's make him a little more fearful, I guess. Alright. What's better to kill? <laughs> well, we got the mech synergy versus well let's see here if it's goblin blast mage we've got to kill you oh well that's fantastic at least we can clear all right it's like i want to not get a mech So he's going to be really happy to find out what that was. Redemption! You're a winner. Okay. Everybody get down! Great timing for a true silver champion as well as much better as it would be for my health and safety to actually uh, get a Dr. Six there. I'll take this. Alright. Not playing around Cone of Cold very well. Assuming he runs it, and it's not an arena deck. So... Let's see. Good time is any for Dr. Boom, I guess. Yeah, that's that's a better play. Let's see what pops Lord out first. Hmm. The battle. Glad I checked. I lost a lot of value on those bots. Yes, there we go. Secret Paladin. Work your magic. Alright, so we're back to rank 12. May got time for another game or two here, so let's let's just nope the deck again. Maybe I can even get to rank 11. What a back shot of my over there but that's what I was saying before the point of variance is that you're not gonna you're gonna get on losing streaks just like you're gonna get on winning streaks so you can't really stress yourself out about it too much all you've got to do is just try and work through it 
tinker, see what works, reanalyze your plays. I mean, I'm definitely going to be watching to see what I could have done better before. Let's see. Really good start. Really good start. All right, I got the juggler. I got the muster combo. Noble sacrifice. I've got almost everything I need. All right. Pretty much this is like my, uh, the only thing that would make this better is my first draw being a shielded mini bot. So let's say hello, hello. Well, never tell. well at least well now we know met. it is a secret keeper. So let's... I Secret party! Let's do this, guys. Oh, that's right. It buffs both of them. I feel like I should remember that, but that's okay. It's gonna make it more fun here in the long run, right? Alright, fortunately not gonna get too punished for that. Oh man. I, I I guess I can noble sacrifice here. So let's make sure you're dead first. Haunted Creeper, how you doing? So he plays a secret, I play a secret, we all play secrets. Okay, second knife juggler. Still, this is the turn to muster, so this lets me uh, test for noble sacrifice. For justice! If it's not Noble Sacrifice, then it's probably Avenge. Alright. Alright, so that's how you spell value. This card pulled a lot of mileage. So that's good. We're going for Fae, so that's Consecrate. Alright. Well, what did I say before? My consecration was the answer for his consecration. Put this apple on your head. Probably safer to do it this way. Reporting for duty. For justice. Let's hit you once. Because kings may be the thing next turn. He hasn't coined yet. I'll load that. Well, it's not kings now, that's for sure. Alright. Avenge also decent. I guess we just build up our board. Really want these to juggle into the creepers. There we go. And what was I saying before? RNG before scurring me. RNG there helping me out quite a bit. And now if I can just top deck a mysterious challenger, I'm gonna be very happy. Tyrion's not so bad. That's for sure. I guess the play is Consecrate Dude. Instead of Blessing of Kings, just to see what else I get out of here. Can we get the juggle? 
Got the juggle. Alright. Uh is that really threatening me right now? I can I can kill it in my own time or he can clear my guys. So we'll save that ping in case we need it. Second shredder. Reporting for duty. Good timing on the true silver. Would just strongly prefer to actually. I don't know. Is King's an event? Is King's Avenge dude better here? Because I still have the weapon. That might actually be a better play. So I can kill this or I can kill this. I can't do that. Yes, you can. Then I guess we just leave you up for now. For justice. Let's see what else we can get. He's played one consecrate, a lot of the secret list only one run one consecrate. And I do have Tyrion, which is pretty good. All right. Put your faith in the light. Well. Hello, sir. You look mighty familiar. Put your faith in the light. The battle. Pop the divine shield. Not much more to do than that. Well, at least it's a mirror match. Oh, nasty. Double nasty. Alright. Oh. This is all hurting me so bad. Alright. Well, let's see what we got. Oh look, it's, he's kind of unsilenced. He doesn't give you Ashbringer anymore. And uh, let's see here. He's played one Noble Sacrifice so far. So it could be Avenge. Don't test me, child. Alright, hello Ashbringer. You will be my friend. Reporting for duty. So, since there's only competitive spirit left for that to be. Right, that could have ended a lot worse. Still, none of us, neither of us getting Mysterious Challenger here is a little bonkers. Well, not. Oh, well then. Eye for an eye. I mean, I guess that has to be it, right? Alright. Well, we can do it that way. Really, I'm going to need to lay on hands here, though, before long, because that is a lot of damage I'm about to take. For justice. Yeah, we've got a clear here. I mean, nothing popped back to life. Oh, Repentance. Okay. Well, I've got a counter for that. I guess... I thought he I thought he had played that before I played Tyrion, but I guess that's absolutely not true. He played that after he played Muster. That's what I get for not paying attention to down here. Alright, lay on hands top deck, please. That would be lovely. That'll do. Alright. 
Holy cow. I just missed lethal. I just super duper missed lethal. Because that was six. Yeah, I had lethal and I just missed it. That means I've been playing for too long. Because that was one damage. And now he might be able to close it out and just make me a sad panda. Alright, does he have six damage that he can do directly to me? Uh, no, maybe, yes. Double secret. Yep, should have won that a turn earlier. But didn't think about how much I had, so undeserved up to 12 on an actual streak now. Okay, so we got time for just one more. Maybe I can get up to rank 11. I don't know for sure, but sometimes you just have to check and see what decks are playing around you and then adjust accordingly. And some people will go hours, hours, hours at a time climbing ladder. I don't quite have that time. Just putting in a couple of hours feels like a long time, but I think that's because I'm backtracking instead of going forward. Ooh. Some, this, this goes back to the pretty big conflict. Some people say, definitely keep Mysterious Challenger. Some people say, ditch him for a lower curve. We're going to take a risk here. We're going to keep him. So true silver champion means I gotta find a turn three play somewhere, which against Druid may not be enough. All right, so secret keeper well met. that may at least draw living roots. My also tells him exactly what I am, but most paladins. I think one of the reasons I got surprised by that control paladin so hard before was exactly because it was control paladin. So okay. It's going to be one of these games. All right. Well, I got my lay on hands back anyway, so... Almost have to hope to draw a secret next turn. Because turn one, Shredder. I have answers, but the problem is he's going to be gunning for combo hard. All right. Not just any shredder, turn one golden shredder. That's that's lucky. Alright. Alright. What do we got? That is ridiculously lucky. To go from that just innervate shredder play to uh having the hero power on turn three. Now, I drew a knife juggler, so I'm pretty lucky there. And I know I'm drawing a knife juggler because the deck tracker checks the log before it actually gets displayed out here. Let's turn on the fire. Actually, I forget what my little thing is for uh, when the coin's been played. This is stupidly susceptible to swipe. So maybe I don't do it. There's not a great reason to open myself up to swipe. Alright. I mean, druids definitely still run swipe. This isn't crazy town. And did he top deck it anyway? Or does he have a better play? Okay, second shredder. Now suddenly we're playing around swipe a little more here, so what do we do? For justice. Let's find out some info first. Okay, 
Okay. Oh my god. That is just painful. The anti shredder value right there. Now, there's no telling if this is because he hasn't played a lot yet. He's only played Shredders. So, this could be a more controlling list with like a bunch of taunts and giant trees and stuff, which I'm not exactly sure how this deck will do against that. I guess we're going to probably find out in a minute. Oh, where did that come from? If he's just playing that now. So, is he trying to draw into a solution. I just drew my second Mysterious Challenger. So we'll act like we top decked it. Alright. I mean, he knows what kind of deck this is. It's really nice that I have another Challenger to eventually follow up with, uh, Another Avenge and another Noble Sacrifice. So there's the swipe. Good swipe discipline holding on to that for a while. Does this mean he has Big Game Hunter as well? Alright. No Big Game Hunter. Alright. Get down. Okie dokie. Now let's do the math this time. This time I do have lethal. So let's not screw this one up. Yeah. Any mouth breathing person like me could have seen that. So, you know what? We made it up to rank 11 on the back of what people would say is one of the most broken and annoying decks to play against. But you know what? It's good for a reason. It's the same reason I didn't diss people for playing Mech Mage when people considered it the C word in ladder. I didn't diss people when they were playing other decks that are kind of top tier. I enjoy myself a good game of Face Hunter every now and then. But yeah, here's the Nope deck of Lay on Hands wasn't really relevant there. I had it in there as well as Divine Favor for card draw. But I may want to adjust this list just a little bit. I don't know. I I like having the save there for the heal. That has saved me some games. It's never really sat in my hand unused, unless the game's already over. Which may be the definition of a win more card, but I don't know for certain. But still, I'm gonna... I think that's probably a decent enough point to cut the stream. So I appreciate those of y'all that popped in while I was broadcasting. We'll do one just... Let's do a pack. Just to end it. And... Uh, yeah, this will be up on YouTube on my channel, Asher Games. If you're watching it from there, thank you for sticking around the whole time. You get some losses, you get some wins, that's Hearthstone. So, more than 40 dust. Oh, well, there we go. Not stuff that I really need. And I'm probably going to start saving my gold for the next expansion here before long. Oh, Golden Bear Trap actually closes like a bear trap. Who knew? But hey, that's it for now. This is Asher. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for sticking around. And I will see you all in the days to come with more Hearthstone and more other games as well. If there's another game you want me to stream, by all means, leave a comment. Probably going to put up FTL stream pretty soon. May even actually play some more Invisible Ink because that's a game I've kind of been getting an itch to play again. But hey, you know what? That's it for now. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. Take care.